that someone who knows all about this is Tanya Andreasen, who's the editor of the banking technology magazine FinTech Futures and joins us now in the studio. Thank you very much for coming in. Um, lots of people have to do this, don't they? They upgrade their systems. All the banks are doing it. So why has this been such a major headache? Well, some banks upgrade their systems and some banks migrate from a very old system to a completely different system. And that was the case with, or is the case with TSB. And uh, so TSB has been outsourcing its technology to Lloyd's, its former sister bank. It cost them 220 million a year. Uh, the systems were built up over time, many, many years, a very, very complex spaghetti of systems, like a bowl of spaghetti, you know, with some sauce and maybe some seafood in it. Mm -hmm. So whatever you touch, if you try to pull out one spaghetti, every other thing is affected. So it's extremely complex, extremely difficult, time consuming, resource consuming, etc. So over the weekend, um, TSB was migrating from the old systems to the new ones and they thought everything went well. I'm sure they did lots of testing. Actually, they did say they carried out something like 70,000 tests, but clearly that was not enough. No, exactly. 70,000 tests, clearly not enough. If they thought that this was going to be a problem, shouldn't they have had more people in branch, more people online answering phones? This was clearly going to be a problem. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the way it was project managed uh, was a disaster. and. Uh, but my guess is they really, really hoped <laughs> that, you know, weekend, uh, migration, bam, everything is fine. But More than that, they, they didn't just hope. They were uh, putting <laughs> pictures on Twitter up of them holding glasses of champagne, saying everything's great. Over the that's true, that's true. There were quite a few of those on social media from the Paris Bank Sabadell, who has a massive development center and who was leading the project. Uh, obviously, people there thought, that's it, it's a success, and then it all went horribly wrong and still continues. Now, TSB issued a few statements saying that um, like the engine now is stabilized, it's up and running, quite a few customers are now okay with their online and mobile banking, but there are still many issues remaining, including at what exactly went wrong, how you can prevent it, what other glitches might show up, because you just don't know, and I'm sure people are working around the clock there trying to figure it out. Yeah, and, and I'm sure you know, because you actually know some of the TSB tech team, don't you? So yes. how long, do you have any sense of how long this is going to take for them to fix? Oh, well, that's, uh, you know, how long is a piece of string? That's anybody's guess. I'm sure people are now entering their, what, seventh, eighth night without sleep, trying to sort it out. Uh, my guess that it should be sort sorted out majorly within the next few days. Uh, well, at least I hope so, for the sake of TSB, and of course for the sake of the customers, uh, because the implications are already very severe from all sorts of sides, you know, financial, reputational. 